Good evening and welcome to Left, Right and Center. I'm Nidhi Razdan. On the program tonight, the latest WikiLeaks on India create a huge political storm here. Rahul Gandhi is quoted as telling the US ambassador that Hindu terror is perhaps a bigger threat than the LET. The Congress has clarified, but will that be the end of that debate? Also, with the crisis over the 2G scam and many other controversies this year, has the UPA been damaged beyond repair? Joining me on the program tonight is Jayanti Natarajan, Congress spokesperson and Rajya Sabha MP. The chief spokesperson of the BJP, uh, Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad, is with us. Jay Panda, Lok Sabha MP from the BJD, has flown in uh, all the way from Orissa today. And Vinod Sharma, the political editor of the Hindustan Times. Let's get started right away. Now, in this season of a controversy a day set off by UPA leaders, this morning the country woke up to a political row over the latest WikiLeaks, which were released overnight. Rahul Gandhi has been strongly attacked by the BJP today for a cable that quotes him as saying that Hindu terror is the biggest threat facing India, perhaps bigger than the LET. A cable from August of last year talks of a July lunch meeting between Ambassador Tim Roma and Rahul Gandhi, where it says the following. Responding to the ambassador's query about the lashkar e taibas activities in the region and the immediate threat to India, Gandhi said there was evidence of some support for the group among certain elements in India's indigenous Muslim community. However, Gandhi warned the bigger threat may be the growth of radicalized Hindu groups which create religious tensions and political confrontations with the Muslim community. Well, the Congress first called the leaks a conspiracy and then later issued a clarification on Mr. Gandhi's behalf, saying that terrorism and communalism of all sides is a threat to India. Shri Rahul Gandhi's view is that terrorism and communalism of all types is a threat to India. We need to remain vigilant against all acts of terrorism of all kinds, no matter who commits them. It's indeed laughable, it is indeed chaotic that those who escorted terrorists to Kandahar those who are found wanting in defending the unity and integrity of this country when parliament was attacked, they are the ones who are raising questions. I think the Bharatiya Janata Party seriously, seriously needs to introspect about the crass politicization which it undertakes of sensitive issues which have a bearing on national interest. Strong words there from Manish Tiwari of the Congress Party. But that brings us to our first question tonight. Were Rahul Gandhi's comments on Hindu terror misplaced? Let me first ask Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad. Mr. Prasad, you in particular were very critical of, of what Rahul Gandhi has been uh, quoted as saying. After hearing the Congress's clarification, not the attack on the BJP, just the clarification, are you satisfied? You see, my point is different. My point is that the U.S. Ambassador, Mr. Timothy Romer, asked him a question in that luncheon meeting. It's on WikiLeaks and not denied by the U.S. government. How do you see the threat of lashkar e taiba to India? In response to that, he said that I feel the radical Hindu groups pose a bigger threat. And that exactly is the argument of the Park Best terrorist. I would say that the Prime Minister of India has repeatedly said that Maoism and terrorism from across the border is a bigger threat. Repeatedly he has said the Chidambaram has said. Now, Mr. Rahul Gandhi has a different take. Then I would say that as far as India's challenges are concerned, he needs to know more. That's all I said. So, so, so the explanation and the clarification doesn't wash with you? Explanation certainly is there. Without commenting on that, why I was constrained to make this comment? Congress party senior leaders are repeatedly saying that Rahul Gandhi must become the Prime Minister of India. He has got the potential of becoming the Prime Minister of India. And today, he is making this comment to a foreign ambassador, not to India, not to Indians, without debate here. That only, apart from lack of propriety. The larger issue is, if the Congress is willing to project him as the future Prime Minister of India, perhaps he needs to grow, he needs to understand the real challenges of India. That's what I'm saying.